I was never the greatest player. I was never the best athlete. I was never the strongest, the tallest. But one thing that I did have was I, I was very competitive. I was very dedicated. You know, every, everything I did, I did to a T and I wanted it to be for a reason. It's not always going to be easy. You got to have that mental fortitude to, and will to, to make whatever dream you have to come true. The sacrifices, it's just been part of my life. It's what we do as athletes. It's what we do to reach our goals. Whatever your goal is, you have to dedicate yourself to it, and there's going to be a lot of sacrifices. But if you love what you want to do, that shouldn't be a problem. Self-belief for an athlete is the most important attribute you can have. What matters is, is whether you believe it within yourself. Everyone thinks about doing something, do it, you know, anything in life, you know. Get it all you got because you can do it, you know, it's all mind over matter. In your mind you can do it, you're going to do it. Sometime you're going to face your you know, fears or your match and it's okay to fail, you know, it's okay, but you know, in my opinion, a true failure is avoiding the confrontation or the challenge. We all go through things, you may go through an injury, you may have a setback. It doesn't just stop the determination, the driving factor that's in your heart. And if you really believe that, it shows that anything is possible. You have to work out so much, stay strong and, and, and do your thing and all I can say it's worth it in the end. I spend every night in the gym, you know, that's what I want to do. It's tough and you really got to be strong mentally. I think the physical side affects your mental side so much more than you really notice. pain and that agony a little bit more than someone else's and I'm, I'm sure they're gonna do it. We're respected as true athletes that we have real athleticism a lot of uh, dedication persistence.